what I should read for the Lexicopolio, the wonderful Athenian bookshop. Should it be something from my last novel, Putney, or maybe one of my Greek books, like my memoir, Eurydice Street, or my novel set in Athens, The House on Paradise Street. But in the end, I decided to read a few little snippets from a work in progress. It's a, a short story essay called A Beckstein in Athens. A few months ago, I fixed an appointment for the piano tuner to come to our apartment in a seaside suburb of Athens. Spiros arrived one balmy Sunday evening as day trippers were starting to head home from the beaches and waterfront cafes. The setting sun was turning everything rosy gold. A reserved man in his late 60s, he unpacked his tools and opened up the instrument with the habitual precision of a surgeon. Our upright hadn't been tuned for a while, but quite apart from the sound, it's a solid symbol of home that has followed me around over three decades to four countries and six addresses. The closest thing to an object that tells the story of my adult life. Nipping ahead now. When Spiros finished with the nuts and bolts of tuning, he rippled out a popular song from his youth. He used to play in Athenian night spots in the 70s, he said. It's in pretty good condition, he gestured at the keys. I'd love to know more about it, I said. I bought it in Moscow in 1991, but I never found out about its origins. Well, we can easily see how old it is, replied Spiros, getting up from the stool and peering inside the lid that was still open. There, stenciled on the inside, was a serial number. A quick search on my phone revealed the year of its manufacture in Berlin, 1913. And look, there's a plate here, said Spiros. Julius Friedrich Pfeiffer, Yalta. More googling showed that this was a big piano and music store known as purveyor to the Imperial Russian court. Pfeiffer, the German owner, died in 1917, aged 52. My grandmother, Sofka, had just moved to Yalta in 1917. Aged 10, she'd been taken there by her paternal grandmother, Olga Dolgoruki, an old-style princess who never buttoned her own boots and took a whole train coach for the journey, in spite of the ongoing revolution. Before Spiros showed me the manufacturing number and the salesroom label, I'd not given much thought to my Beckstein's life before I bought it. I took it for granted that it was a German piano in Moscow and guessed it dated back to the first part of the 20th century. Now, with the Yalta connection, there were all sorts of personal links and possibilities. <laughs>